So as we're getting ready for solving the issues that are here, especially with the congestion issues throughout Los Angeles, we'll be looking at a lot of different innovative solutions like technologies and EV takeoff and landing is going to be one of those uh, solutions that are going to be really piloted and tested out of this region because there is a need, but we also have the infrastructure to be able to develop that, that kind of solution. It's an aircraft that can take off and land vertically like a helicopter that has a wing and the aircraft transitions onto the wing and flies very efficiently. Uh, we will move people around uh, urban uh, cities initially and eventually uh, uh, replace a significant portion of people's ground transportation needs. Uh, our aircraft today is a battery electric aircraft and uh, we're very committed to sustainability, sourcing all of our electricity uh, from renewable sources uh, so that this is one of the uh, most environmentally uh, friendly ways that you can move around. We uh, see that as more and more people move to cities, uh, traffic and congestion gets uh, more and more acute and by moving to the air, uh, we're able to efficiently meet, move people at dramatically uh, higher speeds, increasing the productivity of our communities. We intend to uh, launch our commercial service by 2025. It's flying taxis, it's flying uh, even cargo movements and delivery services. Uh, however, you can imagine uh, if we're not properly planning uh, for, for that kind of congestion, potential congestion, then we're going to basically fa be facing the same issue that we're facing now, but just on the aerial level. So that's why I think a lot of these conversations, we're learning from what we've seen over the past century to make sure that we don't get stuck with the same problems five, 10, 50 years down the line. So we've done a lot of different types of market research. I think that different operators are going to target different customer bases as they do sort of with helicopter operations or um, jets or even frankly major airliners. Um, certainly there's a lot of focus on the business sort of commuter and um, you know the long range commuter. I think a lot of data that, that we've gathered and what we're hearing from sort of surveys and communities that we interview is um, they're looking at those tough to take journeys. So places they want to go that they would go, but they can't go otherwise. The elephant in the room or the thing that we're now trying to solve for is um, how fast and when. And, um, and that, frankly, for me, it comes down to the, again, the takeoff and landing. And how do you make sure you're not supply side constrained from the infrastructure? But I do think, I think the pathway is pretty clear that uh, we don't know who the winners will be at, at the end of the day, but, but we do think that um, that, that the industry will probably really take off.